Girl, I have suffered. No, I have suffered with single strand knots over the years. Like, <sighs> keep your hair moisturized. Okay. Keep your hair stretched. Great. Um, trim your hair often. We heard it all. Like, single strand knots are probably one of the most annoying things about kinky textured hair. They are relentless. And for me over the years, they have actually been a culprit when it comes to keeping me at a hair plateau. I'm constantly trimming my hair because I hate single strand knots. And I know it's part of the journey. It's part of our hair. We can never completely remove them or eradicate them, but I still hate them. I still, I, I can't help it. I hate single strand knots. Yeah, I do have some in my hair at any given time, but there's there comes a time when it's just too much and I can't I can't do it. So we have to snip snip. So this video is gonna address a method that I have recently discovered on how I can actually really, 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 truly minimize single strand knots. I'm not gonna promise you the world but this is worth a try and it's definitely worth a listen if you suffer or if you struggle with single strand knots. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, like this video. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this kind of video. So thumbs up. For my returning subscribers, you know I love you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Your girl is out here sharing gems, you know? Show some love. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we know that single strand knots are unavoidable. We've already spoken about that. They are major when it comes to breakage. If your hair has got lots and lots of single strand knots, it's easy for it to get tangled, particularly at the ends, and it's easier for the hair to snap when you're detangling. So girl, I know they say embrace the single strand knots. It's part of your hair, what not, what not. I'm not that natural. I, I embrace them, but only to a certain level. Like I I'm not gonna just allow my hair to be single strand knot galore. We're not having that. Recently, I discovered a lady called Naturally Nika and she drops gems, guys. Man, she's recently, she's done a video recently where she's spoken about vine wrapping. A few people I've seen have talked about the hanging bantu knot. However, it seems she's actually the one that discovered this whole vine wrapping thing where you wrap the ends of your hair in a certain way that stretches the hair or stretches the ends and prevents single strand knots. The minute I saw that, I was like, this is for me. You know? So vine wrapping, I'm going to give the credit to Naturally Nika. Thank you, girl, you are dropping gems and I'm here for it. What is vine wrapping? So it's pretty much when you grab a piece of your hair. So if you twist your hair, for example, once you're done twisting, uh, twisting the hair, at the ends of the hair, you sort of make a loop and then twirl the hair around itself. Um, and that is what vine wrapping pretty much is. What does it do? Stretches the hair, of course, um, sort of clumps or groups the hair. It kind of makes a curl you know at the end of once the hair is dry and everything it makes a curl the hair is grouped and clumped together and stretched and definitely less likely to curl up and tangle up on its own creating single strand knots now in the past i've tried to blow out my hair to help stretch it and it's helped kind of stretch my hair but over time my hair just tends to shrink but it loves to be in its natural state if you know what i mean not shrunken shrunken like this but it kind of reverts to this. My hair loves being in this state. Um, so blow drying didn't really work for me. And particularly at the ends of the hair, my hair would really tangle up and I'd end up with single strand knots anyway. And ever since I've been using uh, glycerin in my hair, it's particularly difficult to keep my hair stretched after a blowout, if you know what I mean. So vine wrapping has been uh, you know, an interesting thing for me because it allows me to do it and have stretched ends 
stretch hair or stretch ends without needing the blowout and without needing to take my hair out of its natural state. And to be honest, you don't have to unravel the vine wrap. You have, you can keep the wrap intact. Once you put it in, keep it like that, tuck your hair in, um, almost like in a bun like this and be done with it. Um, and your hair remains in a constant stretched form. Your hair is protected. Your hair is curled so that you know there's so many um areas that vine wrapping actually enables you to reduce single strand knots and for me when i saw this i was like i gotta have it now single strand knot prevention is quite important for me key point key word me not everybody for some people they're okay with it if you're okay with it this video is not for you but if you hate single strand knots and you want to keep them at a minimum, then girl, we're in the same club. I love to keep my hair single strand knot free as much as possible because it helps reduce my breakage. It helps me enjoy my hair better. My ends are healthier in general. I've got less chances of snapping my hair as I detangle and deal with the hair. Um, I get to retain uh, more length, less breakage better looking twist outs i mean you name it single strand knots are not my friend and like i said before vine wrapping provides you that stretch that protection you know it gives your hair form or the ends of your hair form and above that it helps preserve your moisture i forgot that one that's an important one and you know moisture is the goat of natural hair care. If your hair is getting lots and lots of single strand knots and you don't know why, I would really look into my moisturizing routine. We think sometimes that we're moisturizing our hair effectively, but maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. Maybe your hair is not as well moisturized and maybe your hair is very, very dry before you re-moisturize it. And I think for me, the aim this year has been to moisturize my hair before it gets dry. That way, it is never dry, okay? Like ever, ever dry. And I mean, preserving moisture at every stage of my routine, the wash, the dip conditioning, the styling, the moisturization, and the loop continues. So my hair does not know dryness. That's, that's what I aim for. And if you can focus on really just moisturizing and keeping moisture in your hair, you will actually minimize uh, single strand knots a lot. Dryness and single strand knots are best friends. I've done a whole video about how I moisturize my hair for up to two weeks. I think I've done two videos actually. I'll put links above for you guys to check out. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, vine wrapping. I stopped vine wrapping because it's time consuming or my ends were breaking or I didn't see my length or something like that because I was over manipulating the hair. I, I've got no idea how that can be. Um, I guess for people, maybe if you're styling your hair often, that can be a problem. But for me, once I set the line wrap, it's literally done for at least a week and even up to two weeks. So for me, that's not over, over manipulation. Um, if you change your styles every few days, that might be an issue for you. But I don't think vine wrapping can weaken my hair because I, I'm not doing it that often. And it's really... It's not a strenuous process. I'm gonna show you shortly, again. <laughs> so vine wrapping can work whether you're wearing your hair in a bun or loose, perfect. If you're in a bun, of course, you just tuck the wrapped ends in there. If you're wearing your hair down, um, as in a twist out or braid out, once you put in your twist or your braid, do the vine wrap while the hair is wet. So that when it's dry, then you can just take it down and you'll actually have a nice stretched um, look or the ends of the hair will be nice and stretched once you take out your twists. Another thing about vine wrapping is that I prefer it to the flexi rods, for example, or any other use of accessories because duh, <laughs> I don't have to use accessories. I can just use my own hair to stretch my ends. The problem with flexi rods is that the sleeping becomes cumbersome. You have to return to unravel them once the hair is dry. You're walking around in the flexi rolls and um, if you go to sleep with them, it can be uncomfortable. I mean, they're soft, but still not as 
comfortable as just sleeping on a pillow you know what i mean <laughs> um yeah once you do your vine wraps you're done you're done there's no need to take stuff out it, you know it works lazy naturals you feel me i know my girls are out there that love to do the bare minimum with their hair this this is something so that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to say about vine wrapping i don't know if you guys saw very well how i vine wrap but i'm gonna show you again um towards the end of the video how to vine wrap i'll leave some footage for you guys to just enjoy a few times in slow motion here and there close-ups so you have a very good idea of how to vine wrap and how to unravel the vine wrap the unraveling is pretty simple you just pull the uh, the hair down and it should wrap the key is not to do it too tightly and not too loosely just you you once you do it a few times you you have a feel for what i'm talking about um and yeah that's that's pretty much it enjoy the rest of the video guys subscribe like this video share this video you don't know who you help let me know if you vine wrap or what method you use to stretch your ends until next time it's coily diaries bye